It's going to be about Prince William and Queen Consort Camilla. What about that clash? What's going to happen when he's king? Is that when he gets even? That's what the video is going to be about. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So there's been a lot out there to kind of suggest that, um, you know, there's been game playing going on in the background with Camilla from the beginning of the marriage of uh, King uh, of Charles uh, to Princess Diana, I mean, even before that, I mean, granted, it seems like they were a match from the beginning and the monarchy kept them apart, but there's still there's some decency involved and you have decisions to make, whether you do the right thing or the wrong thing and all the people you involved in it. And if you've been making these decisions in your own selfish uh, benefit for your own selfish benefit for all of these years. Why would you stop now? Queen consort and um, William has been the peacemaker uh, in his uh, little uh, family with Diana and uh, Harry and Now he's got this big responsibility to focus on and I think he has very little control over what happens except to go along with what his dad wants which is what Camilla wants I think but let's let the cards tell us what's going on so you know, uh, Prince William, what's going to happen when he's king? So don't you think there's a little comeuppance due here for somebody? Um, these uh, boys... These men, William and Harry, had to watch uh, as their mother's uh, place was taken by Camilla. Camilla's children have had to watch while their mother has been on this insane journey. And what about history repeating itself until we get things right? And, you know, Camilla's, I think, great-grandmother was uh, um, involved with the king as his mistress at that time. And uh, it just looks like, I mean, come on, we have to get things right and we keep getting a chance to do it over. And we're very fortunate when it happens in the same lifetime that we get a chance to try these things again. So that's what I want to know. Is, is William going to make things right? If he even gets to be king, is William going to make things right? And, um, you know, 10, 15 years that Charles may be on the throne is really not a long time. Long time for me. How old will I be? I'm 65, 75, I'll be 80. God bless it. I hope I'm here to see what happens. So, you know, is William going to make things right? Um, is Camilla still playing the games? Um, is William unhappy with the role he's had to take? That's what I want to know. So we'll ask those questions, but... You know, first, just a moment of meditation. There we go. So if you're wondering what I do during that uh, meditation there, and uh, I do have a longer uh, meditation that I uh, go under or, or initiate before I do these draws, just to get a little help and get a little focus really. But uh, what I do in that instance is I'm reading that through two to three times, depending on how fast I read through it in my mind or think about it. And uh, so that's all we've got. And it amounts to usually on the videos about 25 seconds. So that's not a long time to, for that little diversion. And I'm going to tell you something. That 25 seconds, I think, makes all the difference in the world. And I hope some of you have incorporated that uh, into your daily uh, uh, regimen. But anyway, so let's uh, focus the cards now. Let's get the cards focused. We've got William and Camilla. 
That's who we're dealing with here. And Charles has to know that he's going to go first. Camilla's going to be left. And it's going to be uh, William. He's going to make some decisions. Um, he's going to have to make decisions about where does Camilla live. That'll be his decision. Unless she decides to go back to her own uh, privately owned home that she has somewhere. Um, what is her compensation? I'm not sure if that's um, dictated in the government or not. And I'm sure, I'm positive, that Charles is going to make sure that Willa, uh, Camilla ends up with some personal fortune. Probably at the expense of his kids. I mean, you would leave, you would normally leave uh, your personal cash to the kids. I mean, but he knows, of course, William will be king. But then he also knows that Harry is out on his own. And when's the time to make that will, to make those provisions? Now, if he hasn't already. So the first thing I want to ask, let's ask that. Has Charles already made provisions for Camilla uh, when he uh, goes? One card. Okay. So, ah, look at this. This is uh, wands, our actions, plans for a movement. These wands are very fruitful. This uh, person, really almost like a, a kingly looking person, is, is making a weighted decision, short term plans. Charles knows this isn't long into the future. He's, he even says it to his kid, don't make my last days miserable. So, um, yeah, as, as Charles, we were asking, did Charles make plans for Camilla? And the card we get is short term plans. So that says yes to me. Now, but I also want to know, has he made kill, uh, plans for Camilla at the detriment to what he may have uh, done or left for his kids or possibly even grandkids? So has he done, has he done that? One card. Okay, so this is cups. Cups are compassion and emotion. And this is, is this the page? Um, yeah, this would have to be the page of, uh, yeah, it's absolutely the page of cups. And uh, this is the uh, emotion with a little surprise in it. And I think Camilla is that surprise. The page is the very weakest uh, member of the royal court. This is the one that brings some ideas to the fore. And uh, regardless of what you think about Charles, I don't think he has strong moral uh, internal fortitude. I'm sorry, he is a, uh, a prisoner to his own emotional feelings. And uh, yeah, he's going to make sure that there's a little surprise, uh, emotional surprise at the end. This, this page looks very determined. At that point, he will be as weak as a page because his son will be king. And we see uh, the last days of a monarch are indeed usually, the last days of all of us are indeed weak days. So, interesting. So, yeah. He's made plans for Camilla. Well, and you would expect him to. He loves her. He did not love Diana. So, no fault of his own. <laughs> you know, you love who you love. And now, uh, let's do the draw. Let's do six cards first and see. Well, let's do one more for Camilla. Camilla. Let's change this to Camilla. Is she behind a lot of this intrigue? One card. Okay, here we have, uh, what is this card? This is the sun, is that correct? Uh, 19. I'm going to have to, because I use so many different decks, that I'm not I'm not always 100% sure of the, you know what, I've got a um, an app on my phone that's really cool about um, tarot cards, and I can look at the Major Arcana, number 19, uh, uh, that is the sun. I'm so good. Yep, so that's the sun. And the sun is, um, and, and the question was, is Camilla behind a lot of this intrigue? And this is shining a light on that. This is, uh, the sun is a big yes card. It's just almost the end of the, the Fool's Journey in the Major Arcana. And you can see here that this, um, when, you have to give the question to Camilla, has she been, um, you know, the cause of all this intrigue. And this is a great big yes card. A lot of sunshine shone down on that. And maybe that means that it's come, becoming clear to all those people who are under her thumb uh, exactly what's happening. That was kind of not nice to say, but I've said it, haven't I? So now let's uh, do uh, the uh, drawing six cards 
on just to let us know what's going to happen when Charles, uh, sorry, when William, when William takes over, what's going to happen to Camilla when William takes over? How is Camilla going to be affected when William is in place? William. What's he going to do? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. William, what's he going to do when he's in charge regarding Camilla? It could be that uh, he doesn't do a darn thing. So the signifier card is, again, a page of action. So this is a, uh, the signifier card of this question as to what William's going to do when he's in charge regarding Camilla is this is a weak page of action. This is a weak action. We see this dragon in the sky here coming out of the clouds. Look at that. Shooting a little fire, a little lightning out of its mouth. And we see this page, you know, l looking a little weak, but carrying a great big fruitful rod, a wand of action and a roaring tide of uh, upheaval of emotion in the background here so and this the face of this page if you look at it is a kind of a determined uh, perturbed face interesting so the signifier card then of what he'll do is uh, this this weak page of action so maybe not anything huge she was queen consort or will have been queen consort for some time by then and i'm sure will have continued to uh, convince the public that she's, you know, best thing to slice bread. The uh, challenge to that, then, ah, is a Seven of Wands. Wands, of course, again, I say our actions, plans, forward movement. And the Seven of Wands is having a great big wand to be able to kind of tame those actions that are poking up at you. So the challenge to this weak um, action that uh, could uh, take place is this is having lots of other things to deal with and, and the wherewithal to do it. The basis of all of that then, ah, so this is uh, 15, 16, 17, this is the star card. And the star card deals with temperance, she deals with emotion, and you can see here that she's um, just pouring that emotion out uh, over the scene and uh, and indeed into this, uh, so the whole, the whole basis of this whole reading about William uh, versus Camilla is being the star, okay, at that point. He will be the star, okay? And that's the point. That's the basis of it. I'm the one now. If you remember, uh, Queen Victoria was so repressed as a child, and when she became the queen, she put her mother over to the side to be taken care of uh, in a house out of her sight. And uh, because what she was the star, and this is where uh, William will be. In the past of this reading then, we have another page, lots of pages here. Now this is swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. And this page, again, has drawn his sword. This is in the past. Oh, this will have been preparation for what's coming. William, still as that page, will have prepared the way. He will have put a bug in the ear of what, whomever needs to know that um, there's some truth, there's some justice, and there's some rules and law that are coming up in the sky of this reading for William versus Camilla in the future, is holding on to your value. So this is the four of pentacles. Pentacles are, can be money, but in this case, their value. And we can see here that we've got this female figure here really trying to hold, look, she must be a queen, really trying to hold on to her value, okay? She's put herself up on a pedestal. She's crowned herself. She's put value in that crown. Uh, she's holding on to some value, and she's actually in, in, uh, embedded some of it into her position on that pedestal. So she has soaked up all the value she can. It could be that by this time, William is, is thinking, it's enough. It's time for a little reckoning here. Interesting. Final outcome. Maybe we'll do four more cards. We'll see how this last card turns up. Final uh, outcome as to whether William uh, and, and Camilla at the time that he's king is, oh, look at this. And we come up again with that sun card. Yeah, sun will be shown on the issue and right will win over wrong. William is going to make amends for what has happened. This is a perfect end to this, uh, to this uh, drawing. There's no reason to go any further with that. 
Um, I love it. So just to read it again. So we're asking if William's going to put Camilla in her place effectively, really, when he's king. And we come up here that it starts out with a page of an idea, just a beginning of an idea. This is what's coming, honey. And uh, and then it's challenged by what? It's challenged by this uh, Seven of Wands having what you need to deal with all the issue that you have to deal with at that time. And then uh, the underscore of the whole thing is that let's establish who is the star at this point. Okay, that's the point here. The past of it will be that, yeah, there's been a little preparation for the truth, the justice, the rules, and the law that's coming up here. And in the sky here, we have Camilla having held on to her uh, uh, value. But in the final outcome, we've got a light shown on the issue and, um, and clarity uh, will be obvious. So there we have that. But I feel like I want to do a little bit more about Camilla. I want to know if at that time, you know, will there be, I feel like there's no justice. Will there be justice that Camilla has to pay for all those years of scheming, perhaps? I'm sorry. I'm very biased about this. I, I, you can't show me someone who has been an accomplice to cheating uh, against someone else. In this case, it just happens to be Diana. But you can't show me someone who has reaped all the rewards uh, as, a, as the uh, payoff for their selfish deeds their entire life, has reaped all those rewards and not have to think there needs to be a reckoning. You know, these people are kings and queens. So, uh, Camilla, let's do four cards. Just to see what they say about Camilla at that time in the future. And you see I've got the um, the book of uh, Prince uh, Harry, if I can point this. How do I go up? There, right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm biased. So, uh, four cards for Camilla. But I do just read the cards, uh, you know, tell you what they mean. And if you look at my readings, you'll see I use kind of the same interpretations all the time. <sighs> so, four cards for Camilla at that time. Okay, a great big a wand, a great big, this is the Ace of Wands. Wands are plans. and So there's a great big, she will not go into this situation without having a plan. Has to be a financial plan, I think. Look at the dragon. Look at the dragon here in this cloud. Wow. So, in the castle, a very distant figure over here. So there's a plan. Next card for Camilla at that time in the future is uh so what is this one this is um temperance temperance yeah this is temperance okay so this is finding a balance oh so this plan uh deals with finding some sort of a balance angelic emotional a little water dipping your toe in the um the next card for that is a repeat card this this is what i told you this is um Charles is a little surprise that he has. Okay, so it's all worked out. And the final card is this Five of Cups feeling left out in the cold. So this Five of Cups uh, value is, is beyond this person's reach. Okay, so yeah, there'll be a comeuppance. Uh, Camilla, what's going to happen to her uh, at that time? Well, there's a plan, okay? Uh, there's some temperance uh, involved in that plan, finding some sort of a, a, a weighted uh, uh, balance there. There's Charles's uh, plan for that little surprise at the end, and then there's in the, finally there's Camilla being left out in the cold to some extent somehow. Let's check back in uh, when I'm 80. Hopefully I'll see you here. So that's what I got. Let me know what you think. You know, I don't think it takes a, a tarot card reader or a psychic or a genius to figure out that someone's going to be pretty diminished. But you watch. I think Charles is going to make sure that Camilla is very well taken care of in uh, his absence. So let me know what you think. Put it, something in the comments and tell me what you want me to read on. And I'm going to read on that. I've got some stuff coming up that's going to be viewer request. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So another Low Scarabio winner here. This is the Mystical Tarot. And uh, like their cards, I mean, the boxes are okay, but they're not great. The instruction booklets are, you know, really basic. Uh, so nothing special to learn in there. 
but it's the cards that are the star here. They're easy to use, they've got kind of a matte finish, and uh, the illustrations are fantastic. I mean, these are artistic, really nice looking cards. And, you know, I love spreading them out like this so that you get to see them. And if somebody else is going to uh, be here to have a reading, it's good for them to kind of have a work with the cards for a second, you know, kind of give them some ownership of what's happening. So I like all that. But uh, we'll get these stacked up here. And we don't want any reverse cards. Sorry. Okay. Get going on this now. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.